to why your diet sucks. This is going to be some fun talking about whatever diet that you could choose to hop onto next to help you lose weight and why you shouldn't. Paleo diet. The name derives from this way of eating being based on what people were eating back in the Paleolithic era, which was around 10,000 to 2.5 million years ago. Primarily, this diet wants you to avoid foods that became popular after the rise of agriculture. Imagine a diet in which consists of you eating food that can only either be gathered or hunted for. A bunch of people, just picture this, a bunch of people inside of a boardroom. They're all there just sitting and they're talking about what's the next way for people to lose weight? What's the next big thing? Everything else isn't working, all right? We're pushing and we're striving for the next best thing. And then someone in the back is just like, what if we didn't progress and move forward? What if we went backwards? What if we devolved and we went and ate like the cavemen did? We went back into this unga bunga way or style of eating. And everyone was just sitting there like, that's brilliant. That's amazing. That's revolutionary. Mind-blowing even. Nope, you're dumb and you should feel bad for this chocolate diet way of thinking. Why would you ever want to look like this? When you can look like this? It just doesn't make sense. Like, this is absolute clownery. You're just honking your nose all day. That's it. Honk, 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 honk. That's it. That's all you're doing. Foods you'll be eating are lean meats, though they highly advise grass-fed or wild game animals, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, while ignoring dairy products, legumes, grains, high-processed foods, and potatoes. I did a little bit of poking around to kind of figure out how did paleo become a thing? Like, how did this diet exist? Like, what gave birth to it? Apparently, the diet was created based on the idea known as the discordance hypothesis. It sounds cool, but it's actually stupid. Farming changed what people ate, and established dairy, grains, and legumes as additional staples in the human diet. This relatively late and rapid change in diet, according to the hypothesis, outpaced the body's ability to adapt. This mismatch is believed to be a contributing factor to the prevalence of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease today. The human body has the ability to adapt at an impressive rate. This makes absolutely no sense. This hypothesis is terrible. Please, go find a new one. The contributing factor to obesity is not being knowledgeable in nutrition and poor decisions. There are three major concerns when it comes to the paleo diet that I can't see past. I cannot overlook these issues. They're just right there in plain sight. Why is it that they advise you to go and get meat that's grass-fed or, or wild game. Last time I checked, these kinds of meats are very expensive to buy. I don't think anybody can last an entire week or even a month just purely buying grass-fed and wild game meats. That's just going to add up in the end. And most people are trying to get into shape or they're trying to diet. I don't think they could afford something like this. It just doesn't make sense. Second, there's no other source of carb in this diet other than fruit. I don't think you want to get the majority of your carbohydrate intake from purely fruits and maybe some vegetables, but primarily you're gonna be getting it from fruits since they have more carbs than veggies do. Can you imagine trying to get carbohydrates on this diet so you're gonna have like a steak with apples or chicken, broccoli, and apricots because you're desperate for the energy, you want the carbs, you don't wanna to go too low carb, but there's nothing else for you to eat to get that source of carbohydrates in other than the fruits that are available to you. So are you gonna just be getting your entire daily intake from fruits? Or is this just some form of keto? Because when I'm looking at it, like on paper, it just sounds like it's keto for people who want to waste money. The third issue goes hand in hand with the second problem, and it's that any diet that restricts the food that you eat, like for example, this one is telling you you cannot eat any foods that became popular after the rise of agriculture. So there's a lot of carbohydrate sources that you cannot eat. Right? You just completely took out an entire food group. That is bad. That is a big no-no. When it comes to like losing weight, the hardest part is never the exercising, it's always the eating, it's the nutrition aspect. So why are you already going to limit yourself in the foods that you can eat? Right now you're just making the eating aspect more difficult and a bigger inconvenience to yourself. It just sounds counterintuitive, I don't like this. This isn't good. Paleo seems like something that someone would hop onto just to be different. So they could be like, oh I'm on paleo, I'm completely different with the way I eat. When in reality, yeah, you're different, but it's completely unnecessary and it's not sustainable long term. Lose weight, all that's required is to live a healthy lifestyle, not to diet hop whenever you've put on a few pounds. Just eat relatively healthy, have some activity in your life, and eat in a caloric deficit, and bam, right there, you got it. 
That's the secret to success with weight loss. And you don't have to go and throw away all the foods you love. You can eat them in moderation. Or if you have some like form of creativity in the kitchen, you can go and make these foods that you love but in a healthier way. That's it for the video today. I've got nothing else on this topic. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any weird diets. Have you been diet hopping around any time in your weight loss journey? Have you tried the paleo diet? Let me know your experiences with it. Like the video if you liked it and if you didn't, well, that's cool. Subscribe for some of that more quality content. I'll be seeing you guys next week. Cujo is out!